The crystal nature of the quartz created clean fractures evenly spaced along the tree trunk, giving the appearance today of logs cut with a chainsaw. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going everyone? It is currently about 5.30 a.m. right now in Flagstaff, which is insane because as you can see, there is light around me and I'm not even needing flash right now. But anyways, today is mine and Maddie's last day in the area and we are actually heading back home, but today is our anniversary. So happy two year wedding anniversary. Love you, babe. Anyways, we have about a 15-ish hour drive from here, I think, but but we are not heading straight home. We do have one stop on the way. We can't get there till eight. Gonna hopefully leave here in about the next 30 minutes. Grab some chicky play. I think it's just right around the corner over there. It is gonna be a fun one and a new place that Maddie and I have never been. So yeah, we will see y'all on the road. All right, Maddie and I are fueled up, good to go. Got some coffee and breakfast and we are heading out. As you can see, we have 1,471 miles exact on the odometer for this trip so far. Probably have around 11, 1,200-ish back to the house. Don't think this little detour that we're taking on the way is gonna add much, but let's go ahead and get onto it. I think it might add like an hour or two, but mile-wise, don't think it's gonna add too much. You saw the sign there, Petrified Forest National Park. That is the final destination that Maddie and I are headed on this road trip. And we've not got too much further, but the sign looks like it's right here. So gonna stop there and we will see y'all at the visitor center. We have made it to the visitor center. Got that right over there in the background. Gonna go in there, see if we can find any little souvenirs right quick and get our national ports pass and get our national parks passport stamps stamped that is hard to say national parks, parks passport, passport stamped. stamped okay yeah <laughs> national parks passport stamped if you're unfamiliar with what i'm talking about got these little national parks books right here when you visit national parks you can go through they have stamps in here and you can get them stamped i'll show you all in just a second you've got several stamps over her and all you do get this bad boy right here there's a science behind this, Maddie says, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, look at that. So we got four different stamps here. And now we're gonna check out the little visitor center they got and continue on and check out some of what Petrified National Forest has to offer. So we will see y'all with some views in a bit. Maddie and I have left the gift shop and we are headed to the official entrance, which is right over there somewhere. So. On with that and I will say we don't really know what we're doing here we just kind of showed up and yeah we are just playing it by ear I uh, don't really have any plans for the day but we do got to go get through the gates so on we go $25 for a private vehicle once again the America's the beautiful pass coming in clutch Hi. hey how are you doing can I see the card holders photo ID yeah did you get a map um we did yes okay. thank you thank you have a good one once again, if you all do visit national parks at all or any type of like national monuments or anything like that that are going to cost, the America's a Beautiful Pass will get you into a lot of it, but on we go. All right, well, this looks like a good place to kind of stop and figure out what we're going to do. Holy smokes. All right, all right. Let's just pull up here and get this nice little view. Oh, man. Check this out while we're here. Thing. This is looking pretty crazy. Also, I am not gonna lie, I have not really seen any pictures or videos of this park at all. Just kind of one of the stops on the way back that is not too far out of the way. So Maddie and I are making a quick detour to do this because one of our goals is to visit all 63 national parks in the U.S. system. It makes national park number eight since we've been together that we've visited together. So it seems like it's going to be another fun one in the books. That is absolutely insane. Maddie and I started at the north end of the Petrified Forest National Park, and what we're gonna do is go to the south end and go to the Crystal Forest. We don't have a whole, whole lot of time because we got like a 14 hour drive back home after this, and it's already about 8.30 a.m. And also on top of that, we're gonna lose two hours, but holy views, man. 
Anywho, gonna continue on and get on down to the Crystal Forest. Got about 18 miles, just under 30 minutes, and yeah, it is looking quite crazy out here. And I will say right here we are about to cross the interstate, but there's no interstate access right here. And there's just one exit at the south end, one exit at the north end. Also, I don't know if y'all can tell at all, but I did squeegee off the window just a little bit as we were leaving Flagstaff. But there is only so much I can do when we're traveling these open roads that have bugs all out and over the place. This road's also a little bit bumpy. Not bumpy necessarily, just wavy. So it's like, it's kind of fun, but also kind of scary because don't want to knock an axle out of alignment. So. We are trying to travel with caution, but anyways, back to this free paid programming. Jeez, this is crazy. Once you top this hilltop, you just have views for miles. Santa Fe Railroad, that's why it's so busy. That rock is already looking crazy, so I can only imagine what we have in store for us up here. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this is insane. We were literally in flat desert country with nothing around and across the interstate came back over this way and this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. That rock looks crazy. Going through the rock in the middle is crazy too. That is so cool. Man. We came to a stop behind a few cars up here. I don't know if y'all can see that little dude right out there, but it's a antelope just chilling by himself. Alrighty, on we go. If you can hear me at all, we'll come back out and go that way in a bit, but Blue Mesa is three and a half miles this way, so that is one of the stops that Maddie is wanting to make. So we're heading this way. Don't really know what's in store down here, but once we go here, we're gonna go back and then get on over to the Crystal Forest. Think it's only a few miles back that way, so yeah. Sure y'all can't see it, but it is definitely rough. They weren't lying. So we aren't quite there yet, but we have to make this little pull off because my goodness gracious, ladies and gents, hang on. Look at that. That is a pretty wild little detour that you cannot resist to pass up. We got a big old petrified log right there too. This is so pretty. Oh man, yeah, you got a lot down there. Wow, this doesn't look real. It looks like something that should be on another planet or something. Kind of what I would expect Mars to look like in a way. Yeah, they could have filmed Dune here. Yeah, they definitely could have filmed Dune here. Hmm, I think the actual Blue Mesa lookout thing or whatever it is is right up there somewhere we've made it to one of the first stops that maddie and i are wanting to look at and it is the blue mesa lookout oh can't show that view just yet y'all have to wait for that looks like there's a little walking trail actually oh yikes don't know that we have a hike in us but we are at least going to get out and see these views so you have the car right back there behind us and then you turn over this way and Oh, goodness. It's crazy how you can go from all that rock formation and structure to this over here. There's no telling how far you can see back over there. Absolutely no telling. But Maddie is doing a little bit of research over here on the trail, seeing how far this... Oh, it's one mile total? Yeah. You want to do it? Wait, that, what? This is the Petrified Forest Badlands. Oh crap. It looks a lot like the stuff that you'd see at Badlands National Park from what I've seen on pictures and stuff, just not near as much. But Blue Mesa Trail right there. It is only a mile loop total, so looks like it's pretty easy walking and can't really resist passing this up when you're already here. This is crazy. It always makes you feel so small being next to this. Places like this and these types of areas with just Structures and formations that are so big. It doesn't even have to be rocks in general, just anything. It's just it's just crazy and words really don't put it into perspective. I mean, even looking out that way, it's just crazy. But I'm sure once we get down here, it's gonna be even crazier. 
I am just kind of a nerd when it comes to this type of stuff and I am just overly geeking and once again just kind of mumbling rambling so uh, let's get back to the views and this free paid programming the cars are right back there we've been walking along here it's not been too long since I've been in the updates but get up here to this little hilltop and holy smokes Dang, I already knew I wanted to go to Badlands National Park really bad, but this is making me want to go to it so, so much more. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so pretty. <laughs> Jeez. This is so pretty. Uh, I don't think either of us really expected to do any hiking today. Not that this is really hiking. This is more kind of just a leisurely little walk, but trail does kind of keep continuing back that way. And I've got like half a mile in, half a mile out, and I am loving it, but I'm not looking forward to going back that uphill. And I know it's Maddie's favorite type of walking, but I'm sure she's not quite looking forward to it either right now. It's gonna be worth it regardless. <laughs> you can see it like shining and sparkling with the sun hitting it. That's awesome. Hope you can see that in the video, but just continuing on. I'm sure the video is not going to do it justice, but I'm sure it is still going to look remarkable and I'm trying to bring you all the full experience of the place as Maddie and I like to try doing when we go places and get out an adventure, but this is wild. Did not expect to be seeing this type of stuff here. Did you? Oh, it does look like it keeps going a bit and i'm gonna say that's over a mile if we have to go up and around here and around and back over because if you look it does look like the trail goes up and around and oh okay cool never mind we cook and doesn't go over this is what i'm walking over there so i'm gonna continue on and do a little loop and get down to the crystal forest we are both hyped for that but didn't know we were hyped for this and yeah we are both more than hyped for it because this is beautiful. It is actually crazy here. Another stunning national park that is leaving us completely speechless. All right, so we made it up here to this little hilltop and don't think we're gonna do the full loop over there because you don't get much more views and we have got a pretty good grasp of the area so far. There's little petrified logs all over the place and we aren't gonna get any more views by walking around that because we did get up to the high point and saw all we needed. So gonna go back to the car, enjoy these views walking back and get over to the crystal forest because we are both more than hyped for that. It is always worth the view, but what was that you just said? Regrets. There are a little bit of regrets. Oh, we were down in that stuff. Back up over there. And still have a bit of climbing to do. Uh, Alright, we are back on the road. We were down in that stuff just a second ago. And as you can see, we got about seven more miles till we get to the Crystal Forest. So that is the next destination and we will see y'all there shortly. All that stuff right there that is what we were down walking in i don't know if you can see those people down there in that luminescent yellow stuff kind of way back over there phone keeps focusing on my finger but that is around where we were at and we walked back up and that stuff kind of over to the right they say this road is rough they are not lying if you come through here be bopping along not paying attention you very well could knock an axle out of alignment so we're going to continue on with caution So pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> hey, hey, so we are pulling up to it, and there are all types of little petrified wood out there. Crystal Forest. This is our turn. 
and it looks like there's a little walk here you can do and what is something that Maddie and I always do? We take advantage when there is bus to take advantage of. So let's get out and see y'all on the little walk. So it does look like there is a loop that you can do up and around. I don't know that we're gonna do all of that though, but it looks pretty cool. We might just walk kind of along right up there somewhere and who knows. Maddie and I are known to kind of do a little bit more than we anticipate doing, so we'll see where the trail takes us. So you do have to stay on this little concrete walkway, but right along it you have all of these petrified pieces of wood and they line with little crystal all through it. <laughs> that is so crazy. You can see it all right through there. That is insane. And these are all over the trail too. Jeez. Hey, how's it going? They're so pretty, especially with the light shining on it like that. Oh my gosh. That is insane. It's crazy that over time the wood does this. Just think of how long it takes for that to happen. We were just right back there, parked over there. And it just opens up to a ton of petrified wood back here. But this is what caught our attention because as you can see, they're just getting bigger and bigger as you go this way. Yeah, that one up there and like this one. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, how are you doing? That is so cool. I don't know exactly how far these date back, but they do date back millions and millions and millions of years. Makes you wonder what all types of little animals and critters rub their backs and butts on it. <laughs> There's no telling what kind of things these trees have seen. I mean, if they could see, I guess, but yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. This place is crazy. All right, so that tree up there really doesn't look much bigger than this. I think these are honestly a little bit bigger, but haven't walked too far. I think the total loop is around 0.8 miles, but we have seen what we wanted at this park, and those rock formations kind of blew us away, and neither of us knew those were here. So that was a pleasant surprise, but I will say, all this crystallized wood is pretty freaking insane. Definitely would make the little detour by here if you have time. So as Maddie and I are walking out, we're just looking at all of these things, talking about how crazy it is and how long it has to take for that process to occur, for the wood to crystallize and turn into quartz. Maddie has pulled up a couple facts here, and I'm just going to have her read those off as we're walking back to the car. Petrified wood found in the park and the surrounding region is made up of almost solid quartz. Over 200 million years ago, the logs washed into an ancient river system and were buried quick enough and deep enough by massive amounts of sediment and debris also carried in the water. The oxygen was cut off and decay slowed to a process that would now take centuries. Materials, including silica, dissolved from volcanic ash, absorbed into the porous wood over hundreds and thousands of years, crystallizing within the cellular structure, replacing the organic material as it broke down over time. During the gradual uplifting of the Colorado Plateau, starting about 60 million years ago, the still buried petrified trees were under so much stress that they broke like glass rods. The crystal nature of the quartz created clean fractures evenly spaced along the tree trunk, giving the appearance today of logs cut with a chainsaw. That's so crazy. So they really weren't cut by mm -mm. anything man-made or anything. It was crystal. just all natural. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. insane. Apart. Mm. That's so cool. That is wild. Oh man, one last look at that. Golly, this place is beautiful. Definitely would recommend taking a little detour and checking this place out if you're ever along I-40 in the area traveling over to Flagstaff or back to wherever we're going that way. I just always think when we're at places like this, how much history goes back into these types of places and just all the things that have traveled on this type of landscape and how different it's looked over various time frames. But we've got about 14 hours back to the house, so we will see y'all in the car with some updates in a bit. 13 hours, 55 minutes. Got it pulled up on the GPS, 956 miles. 
estimated time of arrival, 11.52 p.m. But two hours will be added on to our so I guess technically we'll lose two hours going back home. So estimated time of arrival, Central Standard Time, is 1.51 a.m. So yeah, going to see if we can make it home by about 2 to 3 a.m. And it will be Wednesday at that point, and we both have work on Thursday. But on the bright side, we will only work Thursday and Friday and then have the weekends. But yeah, anyways, going to enjoy these views back to the edge of the park and probably make one last little stop at the visitor center to go to the bathroom and grab some snacks before we hit the road. I will say, this is a very underrated national park because never once have I ever heard anyone say visit here. I probably wouldn't, you know, go out of your way to make the stop, but if you're on I-40 traveling along here, how could you not stop here? Like Mesa Verde, it has a bunch of history. Right. Yeah, Mesa Verde was crazy. Like I was saying, I've never heard anyone mention this place, say how pretty it was or anything. Um, I don't know that I personally know anyone that's actually been here, or I don't even know if I really follow anyone on social media that's ever posted about it. We just kind of knew we were coming along here, so we decided to stop, and we are definitely glad we did. Like I've said several times, if you were traveling along I-40 near Flagstaff, 100% would recommend it. It's about two hours east, but I'm sure it's hard to hear me, so we'll catch y'all in a bit. We are heading over the interstate right here and the visitor center is back over that way. So we're gonna get over there, make a quick stop and get on with the road. So fun little fun fact, that is Mount Taylor. It's actually a volcano and the highest peak of the San Mateo Mountains. So. A little fun fact right there absolutely beautiful driving up to it have been able to see it in the distance for quite a while and it still appears to be pretty far over there in the distance it has been just a minute since the last update and maddie and i have got gas for what is hopefully the last time for the trip and as you can see it is about 12 30 a.m right now a little over two hours left and we are currently sitting at 2,404.9 miles with 140 miles left to go, two hours and 11 minutes. Should be home by around 2.43 a.m. It is currently 12.32. All right, let's get back to the house and we'll see y'all there with the final update and mile count. One of the many reasons why I love traveling at night is because as you can see, we have the road all to ourselves. And if you look in the rear view mirror back there, there is no one back there but we've got about an hour and a half left till we get home, so we're gonna continue on and we will see y'all when we get there. All right, final mileage for the trip. Got it right there, 2,539.9 miles. I'll throw up mine and Maddie's predictions from the very beginning of the trip right here. I'm gonna say 2,869 miles, 0.32. You said what? 2,558. 2,539.9 miles. But it is just after 2.30 a.m. Maddie and I are both exhausted. We drove this straight through. So gonna get some stuff unloaded, get inside, get some rest, and we'll get y'all with an update tomorrow. So it is definitely not the next day. Not really sure why I said that. Probably getting a little bit delirious at the time because I typically don't film outros until I finish editing the video. But I am not gonna go into too, too much detail on the whole trip because what I'm gonna do is take all the videos, put them all into one, and do a full road trip of the full thing. And I'll put a more in-depth reflection on the whole thing at the end of that. Kind of think it's a little bit more fitting to be included in that. But Petrified Forest National Park was one for the books, and we definitely both enjoyed it. Anyways, this is where the video is going to end. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a great rest of the day. Till next time, peace.